What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is the continuation of the skill analysis of the Taekwon job class. This video is all about the skills of the Stellar Fist. If you haven't seen the video that I posted yesterday about the Star Monarch skills, check out the link in the description below. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then Yuji Phone can solve all of your problems. Yuji Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the Yuji Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud, which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of Yuji Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. Yuji Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run Yuji Phone. So if you want to try out Yuji Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you Yuji Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. First, let's check out the skills of the Stellar Fist. Again, as what I have done yesterday, I will check out the skills from right column going to the left. The first skill that we have here is the Storm Kick. Now, this is a continuation of the high jump skill. The Storm Kick launches the target into the air, similar to the Rising Kick. However, the target cannot receive any healing for 3 seconds after the kick. Now that is quite a good skill to use in PvP. Another effect that is awesome about this skill is that you can use it after triggering the high jump skill. It becomes an AOE damage and it has a damage increase of 2006%. Now that is a huge damage increase for one kick. To trigger the skill, click the high jump first. And then once the skill icon changes, immediately click the Storm Kick. Next in the list is the Super Ultimate Storm Kick. Now this is similar to the other ultimate skills, wherein you need to trigger the Union of the Stars first. The Ultimate Storm Kick has a higher damage output than the Ultimate Kick and has the same effect wherein it launches the target into the air. The main difference between the Normal and the Ultimate Storm Kick is that when you pair this up with the high jump skill, instead of launching the targets up, it now becomes an area knockback damage skill. And let me tell you this, the skill animation is again so well done. Moving on to the middle column of the skill tree, let's first take a look at the passive skill named Friends of Stellar Fist. Now this is again a party buff skill which gives the other party members a shield for 2 seconds. What's really good about this skill is the debuff removal for all party members and debuff immunity which is also included in the 2 second duration. Although the skill cooldown is quite high which is 20 seconds, this is still a very good skill to have. Especially in PvP because this skill affects the whole party instead of only one individual. So again, I can't stress this enough, this skill is a must for a Taekwon player. Next is the Sun Explosion Active Skill. So this skill can only be used when you are in the Union of the Sun realm. This skill is an AoE damage which uses the Fire Attribute element. Based on the description, there seems to be no debuff inflicted on enemies when using this skill. Although it can regenerate the Taekwon's energy. Moving on to the final active skill in the middle column, that skill is the Full Moon Kick. So again, this is only available when you are inside the Union of the Moon Realm. Contrary to the Sun Explosion skill, this skill damages the enemies in a fan-shaped area, and it can also stun the opponents that are hit. 
What's unique about this skill is that it pulls the enemies in front of the Taekwon, which makes them easier to hit. This skill looks really nice and has one of the best effects that you can use in AFK grinding. Now, moving on to the final column in the skill tree, first is the Union of the Moon active skill. This is similar to the Union of the Sun skill, which uses your Zenny to summon a realm for 10 minutes. The main difference is that instead of a sun, the Taekwon now summons a moon realm. The main stat boost when inside the moon realm is that it increases the physical damage dealt and adds a movement speed buff. It also adds an effect when the target's HP is below 50%, the Taekwon ignores their physical defense. Contrary to the Sun Realm, the Moon Realm will not change the kick's elemental damage. It will only use the weapon attribute damage. Moving on to the next active skill, which is the Blessing of the Moon. Remember, this is basically the Soul Link skill of the Taekwon. So when all the party members are inside the Moon Realm, and this skill has been triggered, they will be protected for the next 5 physical damage taken and it will increase their final flea by 20% for 6 seconds. Now this makes sense because if you are focused on using the Moon Realm, your build is basically leaning towards more DPS than survivability, compared to the Blessing of the Sun, which acts similar to the Royal Guard's Devotion skill, I think the Taekwon should have more survivability if you are using the Sun Realm. Onto the passive skills. The first one is the Anger of the Moon. So this skill is a buff which deals an additional damage on your opponents. When you are fighting a boss, instead of dealing true damage, you will have a boost of 250% on the weapon attribute physical damage. However, there is a risk when using this skill. Because if a Taekwon's HP is below 20%, they will immediately die in battle. So make sure that you are always checking your character's HP when using this skill. For the last passive skill which is the Warmth of the Moon, all the enemies inside the Moon Realm will receive a Moonlight stack which reduces their defense for 6 seconds. Basically, you need to get these passive skills because it greatly enhances your fighting capability when inside the Moon Realm. And those are the skills of the Stellar Fist. So after checking out all the skills of the Taekwon class, in my opinion, this class can be created in two different builds, the Sun and the Moon build. I think the Sun build is more of a support DPS of a character because of the support buffs and skills when they are inside the Sun Realm, while the Moon build is a full DPS character as the buffs and skills in the Moon Realm increases its damage output. Overall, this class is a good class to play and as I've mentioned in the previous video, I think this will be one of the meta characters moving forward. Hopefully, I was able to help you guys have a better understanding on the Taekwon class. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero.